There's a new cash crop sprouting from Texas's prairies and pastures. It's planted in rows and ripe for harvest, rain or shine. Power comes from the grid. That makes Stephanie Smith. And we charge it into the batteries. It's held in these shipping containers. A sort of energy farmer. Her company, Eolian, owns this array on a ranch in North Fort Worth. It's one of Texas's oldest battery systems, plugged in just two and a half years ago. What's happening in Texas is really exciting for the battery space generally. As usual, Texas is leading in energy. Today, batteries can supply about 8 gigawatts of electricity to the Texas grid. That's up 35% from January 1st. And since the 2021 winter storm, battery storage capacity has increased around 2,500%. There were hardly any battery farms in the Lone Star State then. That incident was one of the urgencies that kind of pushed a lot of people to put more energy storage onto the grid. Chris Boyer teaches the grid at UTA. He says the battery industry is booming because the technology has gotten more efficient and cheaper to build. Battery energy projects are making good returns on those investments. Credit the electric vehicle makers who've led research in this field. The cells inside these air-conditioned shipping containers are almost identical to those inside a Tesla or Rivian. When electricity is plentiful and cheap, Eolian and others buy power off nearby transmission lines and charge. They'll sell that power back to the grid when demand drives up electricity's price, like a stock trader on Wall Street. You're, you're trying to take advantage of the times when there's extra power, and then you're putting it in the market when the market needs it, which actually ends up causing the cost to come down for everybody. That's because batteries help fill a need between 7 and 9 p.m. when Texans are running the AC, but the sun is setting and coastal wind isn't yet blowing. In the past, natural gas plants have waited on the sidelines for this time, just in case they're needed to boost supply. But that took them off the playing field during the day meaning there was less competition to keep your power bill low. Batteries are able to solve all of those problems. They can respond to sudden problems faster than gas plants, too. There's no mechanical parts, no moving. Uh, like So you just turn them on, turn them off when needed, and they're readily available and instantaneously available. Aurora Energy researchers found that batteries saved Texans $750 million in just two days during this January's cold snap. Your power stayed on, too partly because gas plants were in the game, not on standby. Is there light at the end of the tunnel where we don't have to think about ERCOT every summer or winter? Um, I, that's a tough question. <laughs> Electricity demand is soaring, and the weather is becoming harder to plan for. But more battery farms that will hold energy longer are coming, and eventually, you'll have them in your own home. The seeds are in the ground, Smith says. They just need time to grow. In Fort Worth, I'm Matt Houston.